Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Varis. Welcome you all in healthcare with Dr. Varis. Uh, viewers, uh, today's topic which I have chosen for you is, is uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It's a, a disease of joints. When, uh, when, when you feel the symmetrical inflammation, it means uh, on either uh, limbs or either uh, lower limbs or upper limbs, um, joints can be inflamed. Um, called as uh, polyarthritis. Uh, polyarthritis including uh, extra articular manifestations, uh, rheumatoid nodules and uh, pulmonary fibrosis, uh, cirrhositis, scleritis, vasculitis, and uh, the serum uh, RF factor level raised more than 80% people. It is called rheumatoid arthritis. When we are coming on the diagnosis of uh, the rheumatoid arthritis, uh, the most uh, uh, precious and uh, authentic diagnosis for this is CCP antibodies in the serum. And more than 90% of these patients can be diagnosed uh, on this level. And when the CCP uh, level is raised, then we confirm that it is rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, early changes in hands uh, and wrist joint of uh, bony erosions uh, can be seen in the on and uh, on MRI also we can see the erosion of the uh, bones on that. So it is uh, the diagnosis. We are discussing about the treatment. Uh, so when once it is diagnosed uh, is confirmed, and then we start with the treatment of the rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, when we use it as early aggressive treatment plan uh, with uh, um, which have we have to uh, achieve uh, three distinct goals in this treatment uh, one is the early suppression of inflammation and other is the maintenance of the muscle and joint functions and third one is the repair of the joint damage to relieve pain and improve functions uh, and uh, when we use uh, the drugs, uh, DAMARDS means uh, disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, and these can be used uh, for treatment purpose. Uh, and these uh, retards the progression of the bony erosion and cartilage loss. Once uh, clinical response uh, is achieved with uh, one or two DMRDs. Uh, uh, it should be continuous for indefinite period of time and then it, it, it cannot relapse. In these uh, DMRDs, uh, uh, the drugs we use are the methotrexate, uh, sulfasalazine, uh, hydroxychloroquine and alifenonamide, uh, cyclophosphamide. But the most commonly used methotrexate uh, uh, is uh, uh, at up to four to eight weeks. Uh, uh, and uh, used uh, at, at a dose of uh, 7 mg per week and uh, for 4 to 8 weeks and after every 2 weeks we can, can increment in it uh, of 2.5 to 5 mg in addition. Uh, before st starting of, uh, the therapy with methotrexate, uh, one uh, must have to clear about hepatitis uh, B or C and because it can um, uh, badly damage uh, the hepatite, hepatic functions uh, and if uh, one person is already a patient of hepatitis B and C and uh, it will uh, deteriorate its conditions. Uh, so uh, it is uh, mandatory to, uh, to screen first about hepatitis B and C. In concomitant use of uh, uh, folic acid supplement can also uh, necessary and the best uh, other uh, use of uh, methotrexate is uh, myocyte in myositis and uh, in the complication of this disease uh, uh, felty syndrome leukopenia can be treated also with this uh, methotrexate the contraindication of uh, the methotrexate is uh, use uh, of pregnant use of pregnancy so uh, it can cause teratogenic effects and also the uh, lifenonomide can cause uh, teratogenic effects so it cannot be used in pregnancy. 
uh, when uh, once uh, our single use of the trexate fails then it can be combined with uh, an other dmrds methotrexate with uh, droxychloroquine or uh, methotrexate with uh, ritumexib and uh, etoracept methotrexate with lifronomide and, uh, and the glucocorticoids uh, can also be used uh, when uh, the resistance with these uh, drugs Mm, glucocorticoids uh, uh, can uh, cause uh, the symptomatic relief of the pain and when persistent sinusitis and uh, demyodis and uh, anesthetis uh, fails and when the severe mm, uh, constitutional symptoms uh, fever and weight loss uh, scleritis uh, vasculitis and episcleritis can also be treated with the glucocorticoids. If uh, uh, the rheumatoid arthritis uh, remain uh, untreated for a long time, then some complications can occur. So it may lead to mortality and 20 to 30 percent. And, and two syndromes can occur as a complication. One is a Sjogren syndrome and this is the failure of exocrine gland uh, producing sicka symptoms. Uh, and dry eyes and dry mouth, uh, and parotid gland enlargement, uh, dental caries, uh, recurrent uh, tracheobronchitis, etc. And uh, other is uh, Felty syndrome. It is dried of uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, splenomegaly, and uh, leukopenia. And this, uh, when uh, leukopenia can occur, uh, then patient can re uh, develop recurrent bacterial infections. And 70% of the irreversible damage can occur with, uh, when it, uh, this disease persists for uh, three years. Uh, so uh, this is all about our rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, viewers, uh, take care of uh, yourself until my next video. Uh, Allah Hafiz.